What is up guys, welcome back to another video, right? So today we've got a bit of a shopping vlog for you. Me and Laura are gonna to head to the Trafford Centre now. I've actually not done one of these for a while. I'm excited to go. Hopefully it's not too busy, you guys know. The Trafford Centre gets absolutely chaos. So hopefully it's not too bad. But I wanted to show you my outfit. Or my anything, it's decent, you know, I quite like it. So we have got a Soulfit sample hoodie on, mauve overshirt, over jacket, like cargo jacket. We've got the brand new sulfur clothing, like textured, relaxed, slim joggers, which are class with Jordans, you know, because we're a bit more like relaxed, I feel like they go really well with the Jordans. Yeah, really nice little outfit, nice and simple. Film on the GoPro, and then if I do get anything from Trafford Center, I'll bring it home and show you, I'll try it all on for you. Let's hope there's some decent stuff. If you do enjoy these videos, guys, don't forget to drop them a like, subscribe to the channel if you've not already. It honestly really helps the channel out if you drop it a like, so, just make sure you just press that little button down there, drop it a like. Myself at home, I'm possible. It's quite Enjoying it? It's quite nice. So guys, we're back from the Trafford Centre now. Got some very nice pieces from Zara. I'm very excited to try it on. But I'll show you tomorrow and do a bit of a try on all, all the Zara stuff. Fingers crossed it lives up to what it looks like. Quite a successful Zara shop, to be honest. I think we've got eight items in total. Quite excited to get into that stuff but before we do guys I just want to give a massive shout out and thank you to today's video sponsor so without sponsors on the channel I won't be able to make these videos possible so rose gold and black are honestly the one they've been supporting the channel for such a long time now and if you're interested into your men's accessories and jewelry you need to go and have a look at them they've got super minimal pieces like this beaded bracelet we've got here we've got rings I'm also combining two necklaces like layering just on top of this white tee I think it looks class we've got the bar necklace in black and then just like a silver chain over the top looks class doesn't it if you're in the market for some jewelry and accessories guys make sure you go and check them out it'll be linked right at the top of the description the best minimal jewelry you're going to find and it does complete a simple outfit if you're just wearing like a plain white t-shirt some black pants this elevates the style massively. You can use my code Joshul to save an extra 10% off, which is quite nice as well. So go and check them out, it'll be linked in the description, guys. But let's get into the Zara stuff. I tell you what, Trafford Centre was rammed. Again, it always is rammed. And Zara, the amount of traffic Zara must get is ridiculous. So let's try it on. We can make a couple of outfits with all of this stuff as well. I think the total of stuff is 265 quid. Not bad to be fair, is it? Let's get on with it. So the first item we've got, guys, is this great overshirt jacket. You guys know I'm massively into my overshirts and jackets. It's one of my favourite things to wear at this time of year. This grey one, in a size extra large, $29.99. Very affordable, isn't it? I'll tell you what, the perfect fit for me. Bang on. Next up, guys, we've got this rain jacket. I went for a size large in this, just because it did look massive on the hanger. It just looks huge, so the large actually fits me bang on, to be honest. In this really nice, like, beige colour. 59 99 this one. Size large. Big fan of it. They're definitely trending at the minute, because, honestly, there were so many different ones in Zara, and I saw them in a few other shops as well, so... This is something that is trending, probably for springtime 2022. Bear that in mind, it's really nice material, nice lightweight jacket, which is going to keep you dry. It says water repellent on it, so I don't know if it's actually fully waterproof. They had a few other colours in store as well. Doesn't have zip pockets, a bit annoying. See what it looks like zipped up anyway. 
It's got the press studs as well. But I feel like the length is a really good length on it. It's not too long, not too short. Really nice jacket to be fair. I like this. Obviously in the UK it's always raining, isn't it? So you need a kind of jacket like this. Rain jacket. I like it, you know. Not something I'd usually go for, but quite like it. So, next up, we've got a bit of colour. I wanted to add a bit of colour into the wardrobe this springtime. So I went for this like heavyweight oversized tee from Zara. I went for a size large, and the large was the perfect choice for me. Sometimes Zara sizing can be ridiculous and all over the place, but this large fits me just how I'd want it to fit, do you know what I mean? It's got nice long sleeves, which I'm a big fan of. I don't like it when sleeves are too short, do you know what I mean? And then it digs into your armpit. A bit of a different colour. I don't know how you'd really call this colour, like a kind of like weird olive green colour, I'd say. But yeah, 15 99 We've got some Zara jeans as well. I've not tried Zara jeans for a while. And this, because they stopped doing my favourites, didn't they? They stopped doing my skinny comforts, which were just unreal. I don't know why they stopped doing them. Anyway, we're working on some sulfate ones, which are going to be even better. So keep your eyes peeled for them. But these are like a, supposed to be a slim fit. Quite tight, very rigid. I went for a 34. In Zara as well, they don't do leg length, which is weird, isn't it? On any jeans, they don't do any leg length, so there's just one leg length. Bit annoying. So I've got a 34. Don't get me wrong, they're not bad. They're not bad, but by no means great. By no means my favourite. Too rigid, like really tight around my glutes and hips, which obviously you guys know by now. I just have bigger glutes and bigger hips. So it just tends to not feel right around that, that region. Um, the arm jeans that I tried on, the new slim ones from their range are so much better than these. So much better. These are 28 quid, so they're obviously a bit cheaper. But yeah, not a huge fan of the jeans. Too much excess material towards the bottom as well. Just not my scene, not my style. We've also got an overshirt to add to this, you know, I'm, I'm massively into my overshirts and jackets. Probably wear them too much or like get them in every haul, but it's just my style, it's just what I'm kind of into. So you've got to do what you want to wear at the end of the day, haven't you? So this was 49.99, I went for a size extra large. Hopefully this will make this outfit look decent. Yeah, this is the one. This actually is the one. I don't think you can go wrong with an overshirt, you know, you just can't. They look mega, don't they? Obviously, we've got a bit of pop of colour with this like olive t-shirt, the blue jeans, and then the white trainers. Just wearing the arm glow white essential trainers. It's a very classic, casual look, but it's nice, isn't it? Obviously, if the jeans were a better fit, a bit comfier. Apart from that, I'm digging this outfit. It's quite nice. Let me know what you think, guys. I'll link, I'll try and find everything from Zara. I did do it in store, so if it's not on the website, apologies, but I will try and find it and I'll link it all in the description for you as well. Probably did need an extra large in this knitwear jumper. I do like my knitwear jumpers, you know. I don't really have many in the wardrobe, but I was really looking forward to this one. I went for a size large. Just a little bit too tight. The extra large would have been absolutely bang on, but he didn't have it in my size in this colour. They had a few other colours, so maybe have a look on the website and see what the colours they've got. But I tell you what, the quality on it is so nice. Perfect for this time of year, basically, like perfect. You obviously wear this to like a nice meal or date night. Quite sophisticated, sophisticated gentleman. <laughs> I do like it, you know, I like the colour of it as well. A nice like ice grey. Just a shame it's a little bit too tight, a little bit too short. It was £27.99, so again, super affordable. It's a good thing about Zara, isn't it? It's very affordable. They had some of those essential hoodies, which are class, but they didn't have any of my size in the store, which is so annoying. They had like a nice chocolate brown one. I was gonna get it, they didn't have XL. They're very annoying. So the last outfit, last couple of items we've got, got this nice oversized t-shirt in a size large again. Large in t-shirts in Zara for me is bang on. This is spot on. I think it was 22 99 so a bit more expensive than the other one. It's not as heavy weight either, so it's a slightly different material. I think it just says through the blurred lines. Quite a nice design, isn't it? It's a really nice fit. 
I'm digging it. We've got some of the Melange by Stretch trousers as well. These are $29.99 and I went for a 36 waist. I had to put a belt on because the waist was like way too big. Um, so I just wanted to belt on. But apart from the waist, I tell you what, the fit through the leg is spot on. It's so nice. <laughs> the welcome for you know. That is the only annoying thing about me because I do have big glutes, big hips. I always have to size up through the waist and then it just becomes massive on the waist. So I suppose I can always just take them to the tailor, get them brought in at the waist. I'll tell you what though, they're a smashing pair of trousers. A bit of a different colour as well. I'll tell you what, I'd look quite nice with this outfit. Maybe the rain jacket. First rain jacket we tried on. It's could actually pair quite nice. A bit of like a neutral nude tone palette for an outfit. Let's see. I reckon that actually goes, you know. Obviously it's a little bit of a different tone. But neutrals are massively in at the minute on trend like earthy tones. Nice little simple outfit. Hmm. It's nice to step out of the comfort zone sometimes, isn't it? Wear something that I wouldn't usually wear. Yeah, do let me know what you think in the comments, guys, anyway. But yeah, that is everything from the Zara haul. To be honest, you can't really complain with Zara. The prices are class. They're always on top of the fast fashion, bringing out so many different new designs and staying up to date with trends. So, like I said, guys, I'll try and link everything in the description below. So make sure you go and have a look there if you're interested in any of the stuff. I'd recommend just going into your local Zara store to be honest because that's where I always pick up my favourite pieces. Sometimes the Zara online, it's not great is it? The website's not ideal. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favour, please drop it a like. It really helps the channel out and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. Massive thank you to Rose Gold and Black for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you go and check them out. Well, I'll catch you on the next one guys. Take care. See you later.